Hey, it's Dalton at Daltonian Scarf Reviews, and today I'm giving you a look at a third party add on set, and that being the Fans Project Parallax G3 trailer. You can see packaging. Uh, I re really like this packaging, it's just really interesting to me. I can't really say much else, but just go over. You got the whole Parallax logo here, G3 trailer, ages 15 plus down here. Uh, Truck and robot. I like this right here. Up here it says truck and company. To truck and robot toys is by other company. Truck and robot is not included. So I, I thought that was a little bit funny. I just one of those little minor details that kind of amusing. Uh, one thing you can do up here is you got this perforated little section here where you pull this off and it's got a little section where you can put Optimus or the Henke Convoy in there. A little dusty. Flip it around to this side you get the pictures of the trailer or a picture of the trailer. On the back you got pictures of different things it can do like the whole repair bay, the trailer function with the DIA or powered commander, the stealth mode, the turret and camera manipulator and then the carrier function thing and then the weapons that it comes with you get a warning down here at the bottom down here you get the whole same parallax story you get at the beginning of on the back of the uh, powered commander city commander and protector sets and then you got the picture of the trailer again same side, or the other side, you get the same thing except the back side of the trailer. So, let me get this open and we'll be right back. And here we have the G3 trailer in all of its metallic silver glory. Uh, you know, right off the bat, this is an amazing trailer. I will hook it up to Convoy here in just a minute. I just want to go over the trailer itself. I got a. Whoa. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in. Nah, we can wait for a minute. But you got a lot of nice molded in detail through here. You got that nice kind of almost G1S stripe. It's just flipped from that side to here and upside down. So instead of it being lower all the way down here, then coming up back here, it's the exact opposite. But you can see there, I got a repo label. Uh, this whole there is a repo label for this whole set, which is where the sticker for the convoy license plate came from. But just going over here, you got some gunmetal gray kind of texturing right in through here. A lot of nice detail there. Same thing on the other side. You get more of that gunmetal gray and this matte blue and white. And what's really cool is that this white stripe here has its own kind of etched out piece of plastic that it goes along and I thought that was really nice. Uh, there are a lot of hinges here and that will be, I'll show that more later. Then back here you got some molding for the door, you got G3 trailer right there along with the bumper and translucent plastic for the tail lights. You can see here it's got all eight tires. Then in there you get some more repo labels. And you got the whole bottom of the trailer here, black plastic, blue, and nice metallic silver along with the trailer hitch. So let's go ahead and bring in Convoy. Let's flip that up. And this just goes right onto that little square notch that you've seen in my review on him, right on his ankles. We just get it here, and there we go. You can see it, not bad, kind of tall for a trailer but it doesn't really bother me that much but you can see it rolls very nicely and follows the tractor very nice and one other little feature you could do with this while it's in this trailer mode is you can flip up this bumper come back under here rotate this out flip out these two little pieces and get that one out Then you flip this little front piece up here. And then, you know, I don't have the Powered Commander set yet. But you can take your Powered City Commander armor and just put it right on the back here. 
I have kind of a whole kind of a um old Power Master Optimus Prime or God Gen Y look to it. Kind of an homage that they made here. And then this here is on its own little swivel, so it does follow. Just thought that's a really cool little touch. Close that, put those up. Pop that into there. Uh, uh, one of the other things you can do is you can, of course, open the trailer, rotate the ramp down, and go back here to the front, take the trailer off, flip down these two little stands. You pull on the trailer hitch back here, and you get... Why isn't he launching? Hang on a second. Hopefully it should work this time. There we go. You get carrier, which is basically roller, and it says back here. Let me zoom in here. It says G3 carrier. I couldn't get quite get the sticker on right. But you get six wheels on each side. That nice metallic silver on the tire there. Or on the back of the vehicle. Then some more stickers up here and that silver paint. Autobot Ripple label and then you got Roller. Along with a whole bunch of red light piping. It's supposed to be like a little drone so there's like your little sensor or optic or whatever you want to call that. And a couple of lights up here. And silver on the hubcaps. And just like the original you can take the weapons from Optimus or Convoy and plug them right into this hole in the back of Carrier oh, I'm just going to call him Roller there you can have him carrying and wielding Prime's guns another little feature that was made for this guy and for the TFCon I think it was 2009 I'm not quite sure about that. The exclusive is you can pull this down, pull this out, and flip these down, is and it can carry that little briefcase that the Powered Commander came with. So that, I thought that was really cool. You can pop those back in. You got to line them up just right, and then pop it together. Not much else to it other than that. But and with the trailer, I. At the moment, don't have any of my Autobot vehicles in vehicle mode, but you can fit one, and if you really try, you can fit two in here. But you can fit one in there, and it rolls in and out just fine. I might show that near the end. If... And as you see, you can open it here, just pull it apart. And there you've got the G1 style kind of trailer base. You can zoom in here, some of the repo labels that you put in. You got that scan there of Optimus, along with a few others here. I can just rotate my camera. Scan of his rifle. I guess that's a trajectory or no energon label. Yeah. Got error with something. Another little couple of sensors. There's your solar system. Little readouts of roller. A scan of Optimus. Then you can take roller here and slide them all the way back into there. You've got a little place to sit. You can see here he's got all these chrome weapons. I'll go further into detail on those later, but you can see just all this molded detail, some of that more of that gunmetal gray, and then you get the exterior that says go just like the original trailer. You got a little caution tape here. Overall nice looking open base kind of look for this and coming up to here you can pull this up and as you do well, you can pull it up to there and just have kind of like a little scouting 
looking around drone. It's on this little ratchet down here and right here. But if you pull it up further, I pull this up, you'll rot end up rotating out the little kind of machine guns. You can rotate this down if you want it to be fully just like a little sentry drone. And if you don't want those, you can flip this back up and rotate it on this hinge here and bring out your little repair arms so you can, you can keep this thing from falling. And rotate this down. You can have it working on Optimus while he's in truck mode. And both these little clamps open so you can have one holding Prime's gun if you want it. If I can get it in there, you'll end up having to hold it like that. Just kind of weight it down and it falls out. So that, that really doesn't work too well. But rotate these back. And just give me a moment here. We'll get Optimus Prime into his robot mode. So be right back. Alright, and I'm back. And while I was transforming Optimus, I thought I'd go ahead and grab Hoist here and just show you that you can, in fact, Fit a regular size Autobot car right inside. So, yep, That's pretty much it. Let's get him out of the way. Get back to opening this. Now, one of the features I really liked with this set is that you can. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is show. You can flip these two little things up from the side just like that. And flip down these little stands to help stabilize this whole thing. Get this back over right here. Now on this little drone here, you can, like I said before, raise it up just like that. Let's bring this back up here. You can rotate this little piece right here up, and it'll become a little wash shield. And if you haven't noticed, there's these little pegs sticking off on these little arm pieces. Well, what you do with those, and you can see that little reticle there, is there's these little holes on the top of Optimus's arms for vehicle mode with the exhaust pipes. What you do with those, is you peg those little pegs on the sentry right on to those. Let me if I can get it here. that do the same with this side let me run this in so you can see it let me rotate this camera up a little bit let's see right just like that on this one just like that there you've got Optimus wielding this big kind of sentry gun turret so yeah not bad he's looking right through the reticle shooting at any Decepticons coming at his little base here so yeah not a bad little feature I just kind of go against it because I could end up pulling off the paint there or it'll somewhat tear up the plastic if you don't kind of trim that up inside there. But one other thing you can do is rotate this down. Is you bring up these pieces that were the doors, or yeah, the doors of the trailer and rotate this down slightly just like that set it up on its back end like that zoom out here raise the camera up a little bit and you can put Optimus right inside there just like that 
go ahead and flip these turrets up. Bring it out. And can bring out these little repair arms to work on Optimus. Just like that. So just like that you can have it repairing Optimus. And one other thing I found you can do and learned about this a long time ago is you can take the let me get it here. The City Commander rifle. There's this little piece of plastic just etched out here, and if you look here, it's got this little etching. You can just hang the city commander rifle right there and you can do the same with this rifle but instead of hanging it down like that you can put it right in uh, if I can remember how to do this like I said it's been a while and how do I do this again? you do it with these out do this again. Give me just a moment here. Got a policy instruction booklet because I completely forgot how to store the weapon. Making me look like an idiot. Where is it? Ah, there we go. I was doing it completely wrong. Had it half right one of the times. So you leave it completely out like this, you just store it right. Oh, come on. Right there. Then you take his, right up there, then you take his other weapon, hold it up, basically turn it back into the whole top of the truck, and just plug it in right there. So you got weapon storage for all these, and let's go ahead and bring in the other Autobots to show off their weapons. We'll start up here with Bumblebee, and down here is his little his little pistol. This very nice chromed plastic. You put it right in his hand, just like that. Got a more classic-looking Bumblebee with his little tiny pistol there. So let's put him right there. Let's go to Sideswipe. Now this is actually meant for Sunstreaker since the Heroic Duo set came out from, I think, what was it, Beetle Boss or, can't remember. But for the time being I have Sideswipe using it because I have neither the Heroic Duo or Sunstreaker. So you got that right there. Bring in Hound. Make sure he's standing upright. And then you got this piece here that looks like the machine gun that was mounted on the original kind of Jeep vehicle mode. It looks kind of like a machine gun, or it could be his hologram projector, either way. But it's got that little tab, goes right into his hand, just like his gun that I've got sitting on his shoulder. Whoop. Almost lost side swipe there. And then since I don't have the classic Grimlock and he's already got a sword, let's go just go ahead and bring him in. And let's pull this sword off right here. We almost got it. There. Whoop. Plug it right into his hand. And there you've got Grimlock dual wielding swords. Now there is another weapon right up here. That is meant for the Classics Mirage, if I can just get it out. There we go. And it just goes right onto between the wheel and the wheel well on 
Mirage. So you can either have this or the whole uh, Gear of War set from TFC Toys, which I believe is pretty much sold out everywhere. I have not been able to find it and want to get it for a couple of my figures. But let's go ahead and get these out of the way and whatnot. Alright, and I'll be right back with this back in its trailer mode to show show off its last couple its last feature and give my final thoughts. So I'll be right back. Alright, and here I'm gonna show off the one of the final features of this set, and that is the stealth mode, which is where you open the back of this trailer again, just barely, just like that. Pull up this tab here, show on the other side, pull it up, then you close it back up, back here. Close it. You want to pull this down, untab these, pull that out, bring those up, unfold these, and pull this down just like that. Just like that. And there you've got the G3 trailer in its stealth mode. And you can see it's got a little bit of dust right there. Let me get that off without leaving any fingerprints. Because this thing is a fingerprint and dust magnet. I just, it's kind of crazy. Yes, you can see me. Hi. But. And not a bad little concept, and you know, it kind of gives that whole illusion of, oh, where does this trailer go? Well, it just disappears. You know, it's kind of one of those, it, it bends light rather than absorbs it, so I guess that's what they're going for here with the, the mirrors. Not much else to that, so we can just close these back up. I'll take this back up there there but overall if you want to have a proper trailer for this guy and are tired of waiting around or trying to make your own just go ahead and try and find this wherever you can if it's still available if you don't have it already I highly recommend this to anyone looking for a trailer for their classics NK Optimus or even, you know, it even fits the Toy World Orion. I mean, it fits, it's even got these little things made onto its, the back of the truck, so it will fit this trailer. So, if there's any way possible you want to get this, or, you know, any way you can get them, I highly, highly recommend getting this, you know, if you got the chance. But, not much else to say. Fans Project G3 Parallax Trailer, and this is Dalton from Daltonian's TF Reviews, and I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully right after this one.